many thought it could not be done. And while many schools across the country are still trying to get kids back in class, Steve White reports the year comes to a successful end in central Nebraska. It's a day many wondered if we would ever see the last day of school. Heading on a grand adventure. Let's go, big sis. A school year that began as a trip into the unknown reaches its destination. We're doing something that we never would have thought was possible at the beginning of the school year. COVID canceled this Oregon Trail journey in 2020 when Danielle Dudo tried to hold back tears. In our building, it just was quiet. And to see empty desks and piles of stuff that were going home, it it was hard. We can't celebrate until we get across that finish line. Superintendent Tawana Grover says they've made it. She recalls a conversation with the health director back when optimism meant staying in school more than a few weeks. Dr. Grover, I'm going to try to get you to November. I said, we're going to May. And November was indeed a perilous month. Grand Island Central Catholic canceled classes because of a teacher shortage. And Grand Island Public Schools saw 100 staff members out as they extended Thanksgiving to preserve mental and physical health. And helping them to understand that we are at risk. Uh, and if we close our doors, it will have an impact on the entire community. At the same time, the Tri-Cities implemented mask mandates. Turning the tide a little bit more to get us to Christmas into January. Oh! <laughs> then once after that second semester hit, we're like, okay, we're in here for the long haul. One organization tracking schools says only a quarter started in person on time like Central Nebraska schools did. That may be one reason local kids have shown academic growth. But for the first time ever, our early uh, literacy scores, uh, they outpaced the national average. They were right up there. So that was very encouraging to us, even during the time of a pandemic. Oh, oh what are those things over there? Danielle Dudo quarantined over spring break. The Grand Island moved aggressively to vaccinate teachers who made personal sacrifices to keep kids in school. Screaming from the mountaintop, these are some pretty special folks right here serving our students. Reporting in Grand Island, I'm Steve White.